Good morning, ESM. I'm Kyra. And I'm Elena. Since people have been spending so much time in quarantine binging Netflix, some are running out of ideas for shows to watch. After news and announcements, we'll talk about some shows you might not have seen, but you're guaranteed to enjoy. A 13-year-old boy broke into Cosmopolitan Salon on Erie Boulevard on Sunday. The boy, whose name was not released, was charged with third-degree burglary, a felony, criminal mischief, and attempted larceny. The owner of the spa saw the boy break in and called 911. The teen ran away but was later caught by police. He is released on an appearance ticket. Within the next two to three weeks, Congress has a full agenda as they try to strike a compromise and pass a defensive policy, a COVID relief package, and a $1.4 trillion cash call sending package, as well as a number of judicial nominees, all the while the coronavirus pandemic spirals out of control. December 11, 2020, however, is the date that lawmakers are keeping their eye on because that's the day that the current budget will run out. If a new budget is not passed by then, we will have another government shutdown causing many programs to come to a screeching halt when they are needed the most. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Video Club is holding a girls clothing fundraiser. The clothing is either new or barely worn. Clothing brands include Abercrombie, Abercrombie Old Navy, Pagalonia, Under Armour, Francesca, and so much more. Each item is $3 or less. Hand down to B14 before school, during lunches, between periods, or good a pass to come out of study hall. So to start off our list of must-watch shows, we have Schitt's Creek. This show is about a former obnoxiously rich family who falls back on hard times and must fall back on a small motel they own in the town of Schitt's Creek. Starring actors Daniel Levy, Annie Murphy, Eugene Levy, and Catherine O'Hara, this show is binge-worthy, funny, and full of surprises. Another popular show on Netflix is The Good Place. In this show, the main character, Eleanor, wakes up in the afterlife and finds herself mistakenly put in the good place. Determined to change for the better, she reaches for help of some of new friends. However, the events that follow reveal that there's much more to the good place than meets the eye. With a hilarious cast including Kristen Bell, Ted Danson, and Maya Rudolph, this show will leave you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> for real. <laughs> in related news, Stranger Things is really popular right now and some of you, I'm sure, have finished what there is currently out. But it has been confirmed that a new season is coming out soon, so if you've been waiting, you won't have too much longer. I cannot wait until Stranger Things. I've <laughs> been waiting so long. So we'll talk about some more suggestions after weather. We're starting December today with some scattered rain showers that could mix with snow in the afternoon to create a slushy coating. Temperatures are starting in the mid-40s but are going to drop into the 30s by the end of the day. You can expect some more snow tonight and we're going to wake up to more slush and about an inch of accumulation. Tomorrow will be blustery and cold with snow showers and highs in the upper 30s. Thursday will have some sun with slightly more mild temperatures with highs in the mid-40s. Friday has a chance of scattered rain and snow showers developing in the afternoon and a high in the mid-40s. The mildly cold temperatures are going to continue into this weekend with highs in the low 40s and a chance of lake effect snow and rain beginning Saturday and carrying over into Sunday. Monday looks to be a little bit colder with more of that lake effect snow and highs in the mid-30s. I'm Allie with your weather. So another show that you definitely should try is The Queen's Gambit. You've probably seen the trailers. Uh, this limited series is definitely one of my favorites. I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it. With an amazing performance by actors such as Anya Taylor, Anya Taylor-Joy,
Bill Camp and Moses Ingram, the show is both suspenseful and thrilling. Set in the 1960s, the series follows orphaned Beth Harmon as she struggles through loss and hardship to achieve her goal to become the greatest chess player in the world. Last on our list, but definitely not least, is The New Girl. This show follows the hilarious adventures of Jess after moving into a loft with her best friend along with three guys as they form an unlikely family. Since there are seven long seasons, New Girl is definitely a show that can take your mind off the pandemic with some comic relief. The casting is also perfect, starring Jake Johnson, Zoe Deschanel, Max Greenfield, and Lamorne Morris. A great ensemble for sure. Let's head over to sports. Rama Sidibe, Syracuse Orange men's basketball center, tore his meniscus during Friday's opening game against Bryant. His surgery is scheduled for today and recovery time is expected to be four weeks. If things go as planned, Sidibe could slot a January 2nd return against North Carolina. Syracuse plays Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. against Niagara. The Seattle Seahawks beat the Philadelphia Eagles 23-17 last night. Seahawks receiver DK Metcalf torched their secondary with 10 catches and 177 yards. DK Metcalf now leads the league in receiving yards with 1,039. The Seahawks defense also played well with six total sacks and an interception by safety Quandre Diggs. I'm Aiden with your sports. Well, ESM, that's all we have for you today. To recap, be sure to check out Schitt's Creek, The Good Place, The Queen's Gambit, and New Girl. From me, Kyra, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.